Hello, VDOFX here. In part one, I've shown you how to create the donut. Now I'll show you how to add the sprinkles. I'm going to create a capsule and size it down to look like a sprinkle. Then I'll create a cloner, place the capsule in it, and set it to clone onto my icing object. Let's increase the count to get more sprinkles. Next, I'll add a random effector to randomize the rotation and scale of the sprinkles. When I hide the donut, we can see that the sprinkles are scattered on the bottom of the icing too, which is not what I want. It should be scattered on top of the icing only. To hide the unwanted sprinkles, I'll create a plane effector. Turn off the position option, and I'll turn on the visibility setting. This controls the visibility of the clones. There won't be any effect yet. Let's add a shader field to control the clone's visibility. For the shader, I'll use the terrain mask shader. This will allow us to make only the clones on the top surface be visible and everything else be hidden, which is exactly what I want. Now let's add random colors to the sprinkles. I'll use another random effector. Disable the position options and switch the color mode to use effector color. There's a lot of black clones now. That's because the random effector going from 100% to minus 100%, which results in half of the clones be negative color or black. We will turn the minimum value to 0%, and now they should have proper random colors. Play with the seed value to generate different colors. Let's start the render view and add the sprinkle material. I'll create a standard material and apply on the sprinkle cloner. Go into the material. We will use a color user data node. Connect it to the base color. The colors will be black now because the node doesn't know how to get the colors from the clones. We need to set the attribute name to use the MoGraph color and it will work correctly. From here, we can recolor the sprinkles to what we want. Create a ramp node and connect it up. We will use this to tint the sprinkles black and white. Then we can add another ramp node. This one will be used to recolor the black and white sprinkles to the colors we want. Let's rename the nodes first so we don't get confused. I'll use some preset gradients to add colors to the sprinkles. We can adjust the black and white ramp to tune the color distribution. And that concludes our donut with sprinkles. I hope you had fun creating this donut as I did. Goodbye.